God, you've got to love that intro, haven't you? Uh, welcome, everybody, to Pokemon White um, High Corners Lock. God, we've not done one of these in a while, and I am quite happy to do so again. And in a game that I have not played, I believe, in years, close to a decade at this point, never really... I don't know, when Black and White first came out, I'll just get off the epic music and let Zekron scream there. Um, when I first played it. I wasn't really a big fan of Black and White, and it's one of those that's gr grown on me as I've gone back. Obviously, Black and White 2 is the games that everyone talks about as being, you know, the more definitive edition, and I never really played those, so I'm stuck, I was stuck with these and all this in my knowledge, and as I got older, I did learn to appreciate Black and White more as games. I think they did some things right, I think they did some things wrong. Clearly, we're going to talk about them. In the or if we continue as we continue on, hopefully we can get all the way in my first try. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? But without further ado, how are we doing, Shoxy? Uh, let's just get into it. Ah, yes, the feet, the the female professor. I forgot about this. Welcome to the world of Pokemon, <clears throat> Juniper. How are we doing, love? Probably the most accurate to what an actual doctor would work, or what an actual uh, professor would work. Gotta get through all this dialogue. <sighs> Me, I'm good. I'm, I'm late today and I have to apologise. I was had a <clears throat> little family emergency. Nothing major, nothing to worry about at all. Just something I needed to be involved in. Took me out for a few hours, but we should be okay now. And... <clears throat> Onto the first thing I like about these games, love the designs of the of the characters. Even both Black and White and Black and White 2, I love all four designs for the characters. Very like, very uh, what's the word I'm looking looking at for? Distinctive. Look very nice to me. I like them a lot more. Maybe it's because you know, probably that's how. If I was going to be a Pokemon trainer, this is probably how I would dress. Minus probably the the high tops that. Um, that I think this guy has. Have you noticed his shoes? I'm not a big fan of them. I'm more of a boot guy. Uh, Black and White had too many rival fights. That's uh, I've, my my memory's a bit hazy. I do remember there being a few few rival fights in a few areas. We'll see when I get to them. I guess. Oh yeah, the only problem I have with the with the actual characters are the like default names in these games. Because what what is it in Gen Five? Is it Hilbert and Hilda, or is that Black and White Two? I always forget. Again, because I've not played Black and White Two, my memory sort of my memory's hazy. On on you know, if you don't play the game, you're not going to have the basic knowledge. You're not just going to be able to like go back. And we're in winter, which is not a particularly good month personally for. Pokemon that I would potentially like. Beautiful. It's almost like I upscaled the graphics to make it look better. 
That we can, Sharon. That we can. Only, only thing I remember about this game, like, its start is a little bit slow. Like, you have to walk through a whole bunch of cutscenes. There's a cutscene here, and I think there's rival fights, then there's more cutscenes where you get the Pokedex, and there's more cutscenes where you get the town map. Then you have to go through catching, and then you have to go to the Pokemon Center, and finally, you'll be able, you see how you, the game sort of stops holding your hand for a little bit. Now, for the sake of convenience, I am going to uh, set that to far, set that to sheer, uh, to set, sorry. And I'm also going to save here because if we do not get a starter that I'm happy with, we'll just redo it to save time. Now, you might be thinking, out of the three starters, which one will I be picking? Now, I have thought about this. Uh, I brought these three Pokemon, one of them for each of you uh, and your friends. Please settle your choices politely. Really, you're asking to... You're asking what the... Uh, you're asking three children to, to sort out getting a present each politely. That never happens. Right, okay, but we've got three choices. If the game would let me. We've got Snivy, Tepig, and Oshawa. Now, for the way that I'm thinking this is going to work... Our best bet is probably Tepig, going off the fact that he does well against the second, third, uh, technically the fifth gym, if you can catch, if, you, if, if your Pokemon's faster than it, uh, Excadrill, if you can build up a couple of flame charges, uh, does decently on, doesn't do really decently against uh, Skylar, does obviously well against Bryson, and uh, trying to think, and then Drayden, you know, Dragon, so I mean. But out of the three, I believe Tepig is the correct choice because of Pig Knight, and because we're not going to get as many encounters as we would in other games, uh, compared to, like, say, in Generation... Put it this way, I... We, up to the first gym in Generation 4, you get about 10 different encounters. Um, I think you have, to take, like, choice 10 chances to get different encounters. Uh, in this game, you get three. Technically four, but we'll get to that when we get there. So the talent pool is a lot more tight, so you have to pick and choose the ones which are going to be the more effective. Snivy doesn't really do that well uh, against really anything. Because if you, if you, if you think, just think of the gyms. Well, yeah, fire Pokemon are quite scarce, but in this game, to be fair, there are a few areas where I think we can get them. Uh, but yeah, usually I would say go with a fire type in any generation, because obviously, like Shoxys just said, fire Pokemon are the most scarce. Although water types in this game are fairly scarce as well, because you only get the rod, I believe, after you beat the Elite Four. So you can only surf Pokemon, and there's only so many water Pokemon you can. It's a criticism I have of this game, that there's, you know, for water being such a powerful type, um, which, you know, an affluent in other games. They really limit it here, and it sort of does change the dynamic a bit, for good and for worse, to be fair. But Snivy doesn't really do... doesn't really do well against anything apart from clay. Um, Oshawa is good to have a water type, because water types are good. It was always good, really, between Tepig and Oshawa, who, was gonna, who I'm going to take. But I'm going to take Tepig. And then we can talk about how I really dislike some of the designs in this game when we get to them. I do like Tepic though. I like all these stars, the star designs. See, the, this, yep, that is something we'll get to. Because people are about to, people are probably going to have a go at me for doing something. I, I like a lot. This is the thing. My favorite Pokemon is a Gen 5 Pokemon. My favorite Pokemon is Golurk. I love that. I love that guy. It's my favorite. But you cannot say there are not some appalling design choices in this game. And it, it does feel like a rehash of Gen 1. Ooh, female one. Okay. It's not dealing with that. It's rare you get that. I'm just looking at what our nature could be. It looks like special attack down, which is good. We want, we want Tepig being a physical attacker. 
so our embers aren't going to do that much. Got to think of a nickname for Tepig now while we're doing these two fights. Usually I name it... I, I usually name it Chop for, you know, two reasons. First, first it's being if Tepig is good, he's going to be chopping everything in his path. And if he loses, well, you know, we're turning him into some nice... Some nice ed edible meat. Oh well, her, I guess, in this case. Tell me, how, how do you do? You like the visuals? Hang on a minute. Let me just make sure that that's working. Something tells me it's not, because I should have Tepig right now, so that's not come through yet. I wonder if it's a thing in the game or not. Usually, Tepig should be showing up in that Pokeball there. I'll just have a look. We'll do these two battles and then I'll see if I can figure it out. Because there should be a Tepig picture showing up in that Pokeball. I don't know if it's just for... Because the game's technically not... Some, it's weird how Pokemon works sometimes with how your... When you, when you get your starter and when it says you've got something in your party. Um, I do show bottom screen. Bottom screen's on the right. Should be. Just under the gym badges. Yeah, I'll try and fix that. My stream died, don't worry about it. I'll just see if this will work again. I did use Tail Whip, right? Cool. Usually you want to go... I think the most optimal thing in this kit, in these, like, starter battles are just hitting, like, a Tail Whip and then getting a... Uh, on tackle. I'll just sort that out now, then. Whilst this is going on. That should solve it. Which is interesting, because it's not. I wonder why. Hm. Interesting. It says it's reading the bit of inside inside baseball. It says it is reading the actual game. So that is interesting. Why the it's not showing up? It should be. Very interesting. Oh well, we'll figure it out when we get there. When I have time. No, the layer should be fine. Like, I, I made sure I did a test yesterday. It sh everything should be working fine. Gentle Nature, if I remember correctly, yeah, Gentle Nature is special defense. I love this. The fact that they changed it to be like, they, they told you what the nature was instead of having to work it out. Fantastic. I'm literally surprised how we're talking about little animals roaming around and it causes that much damage. I think that is an understatement. I'll try and see if I can do it on... I can change it up on the fly. We'll get it working, don't worry. I had, I had problems with it before because of... Ten, because of... This is my first time using it with a DS. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. So I was, I was expecting a couple errors. Oh, look, that thing that we never use... Oh, I don't know if you ever used it. I really didn't, because, you know, I didn't have friends. I love that animation. What do you expect as the pre-gem wa gym one encounter? Well, I'm the one we want is Lillipup. Lillipup's the, probably the best one we can get. Because of something I plan to do, because I am arrogant and completely know what I'm doing. Which is 
when we get to it, I'll tell you, because it's incredibly stupid, but it is possible. See what I mean, though, about this being slow? We don't have the running shoes. You have to go for all these different cutscenes to get Pokemon, to get the... Uh, I have two chances yet. We have route. We have our starter, Route 1 and Route 2. And Dream Yard, technically. Before the first gym. You know what? We'll name it Bacon. Why not? I'm not, I'm not, no, 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 I do, do definitely don't have that function and do not want to press it because I don't like the, I, I've been fighting with this for ages trying to get the, um, I, I, I only want to use that, I only want to use my definite legal speed up, um, if it, if it's for just battling standard encounters or grinding, I want to actually, you know, feel the game again, I want to enjoy this. It feels like ages since I've just played black and white. I want to feel it again. Remember everything. See what I mean, though? You go in cutscene and then out, out, out into a new cutscene and then, you know. I know it's a Pokemon game, but they really did hold your hand in comparison to, say, like, Generation 4. Although, to be fair, Gen 6 did do a lot of hand-holding as well. Yep, and then literally... Walk, walk, walk right, walk up. And then, literally, another cutscene. <laughs> that is true, yeah, for, yeah, Gen 7 does, uh, mo mo most modern games do, most modern games are hand-holding, not just Pokemon, by the way. Even in a... It's the one criticism I have of uh, God of War Ragnarok. The game constantly is telling you where you're going wrong. And it's really frustrating. Right, I'm just going to try and fix that. While this animation is going on. Did you? I, I did. I I did end up playing this game before. Oh, uh, did I play? I can't remember. It it's not like a it's not like a, a thing with God of War Ragnarok where it's more displayed on the screen. It's more with characters just saying, like, in, in when you when you when you're in the middle of fighting and get hit, like, the say like Mimia will just go for um. We'll just say like, ah, use your shield, brother. Or something like that. Like, a bit too often. I don't even mind it when it's just, like, a one-off comment. Like, say it happens, but it, it, it seems to happen more frequently than I'd like. It's a pet peeve. It's not like a really, you know, it's not like I'm not going to play this game because of it. Okay, everything should be okay now. It should be anyway. Is Tepig there? Please tell me he is, or I'll get really annoyed. I'm just checking something, all right. Yep, Tepig should be there right now, right? 
Yeah, okay, cool. Got it sorted. Oh yeah, Bianca says, why can't we catch the most Pokemon? And then proceeds to... You know. Oh, here we go. Okay, we got a little pup. And I guess we're having a team of girls. Okay, and I can deal with this. Uh, I think the most, the best thing here is probably just to chuck balls because if I'm thinking of the level difference and how much health Lillipop has in the beginning. Oh, this is going to be fun. Yeah, because of how much little, how little health Lillipop has in the level difference, I think if I crit, I one-shot it. So I'm just going to have to lob balls and pray. But because it's such a... I was going to say, because it's an early Pokemon, we might get away with it. But apparently not. Yep, we're not probably going to get away with it. And free defense, free defense drops later is never a good sign. Do I take the gamble? I think I take the gamble. We watch it crit now. Oh, only half. I'm surprised about that. You see what I mean, though? About how much damage it does? That's why I was chucking at the start. <laughs> Great. Well, it took all five, but we got there in the end, didn't we? That's the most important thing. Right. Now. What do we want to call this Lillipop? I mean, there's a, there's a name that I want to call it, which is because my... One of my family's dogs looks exactly like this. Oh, you got an arrow ball. I've got one of those. I, uh, I don't really use it anymore, to be fair, but still, I, I enjoyed it when I used it. It's just because of a... Uh, I, I usually drink water anyway, so... I just... I, I bought it as, like, a... as on, on an off chance. I was going like, okay, and I'll try it, see if it's any better. And just thought, nah, let's go back to drinking water. But, you know, if it helps you... Okay, and please do not have a attack down nature. That is good and bad, actually. That's good in terms of nature, but bad in terms of ability. I was hoping for pick up. Oh well. Yeah, why not? Oh great, the first one of these. Did anyone actually use the, like, X tran uh, What did we actually use the X transceiver, tr transceiver for? I was never, like, it just never really was a thing that I wanted to use that much. Do -do 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 -do. Music in this game's brilliant. This where I get the Pokeball? I just remember there being a Pokeball. There's two places I want to go here. Yeah, I remember there's a place we can get a Pokeball and we, we need to go to, um... 
I, I like for it. It's a bit weird how it evolves from Sentry uh, from Sentry in terms of in terms of how it looks, but I like for it. We need the the thing is we can increase the vibe after we get this Pokeball. There it is, it's you. It's the one thing of every, every game, and I, I know where items are, and I know where my hidden items are in this game. Is it? I did not know. I don't know, it, it, it's actually got, it's got more of a meaning than just this so this town's music. But if you don't know, we can add to it. You can add piano, and then you can add my favorite, or one of my favorite instruments. And now we're truly jamming. Just a nice little thing you can do in the game, which I really like. Oh, ruined it. You ruined it, Juniper. Yes, and now more hand holding. Oh, 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 oh. oh no, however, will I try it? Oh, this is something I can talk about. I was not happy when they redesigned Nurse Joy in the anime. So I've got, I, I, I remember when Black and White first came out, like the anime, and I was like, oh. And I was, and I was like, who is this woman? They replaced Nurse Joy with some imposter and, a, and an Ardino. It's not Chansey, it's not the same. They did the same with Officer Jenny and made a, I think she, they, didn't they give her a shot her? I don't know, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of hand-holding in games. I just think, I think it's always better when you let the player learn themselves. It's sort of, you know, it gives them more of an accomplishment. Go see Fennel, although we can't see her until we actually beat the first gym. Right, hi. Premier balls are a thing, right, in this game? Uh, go with five. Spend all of my money on frivolous stuff. And then mail. Aw, remember when mail was a thing? Gym 3 to 5. And they got rid of in Gen 6. I'm back into the proper music before we get ruined again by Getsus. You've got to give it to Team Plasma. Like, they really do commit to the bit. They've got, I mean, they've got the armor. I mean, they hired all gingers, which is, you know, if you're going to make an evil team, fair play. Uh, and then, you know, I guess Getsis, Getsis does look cool, to be fair. So does, and everyone loves N as well. N's such an interesting character. I'd like to talk to you about Pokemon Liberation. Sure, most of you people believe that we humans and Pokemon are partners come to live together because we want, want to need each other. However, is that really the truth? Have you ever considered that perhaps we humans only assume that this is the truth? Well, since a Charizard could burn down your house. Fair play. Uh, Pokemon are subjects to the selfish commands of trainers. I mean... Eh, eh, I guess so. <laughs> they get pushed around and they are our partners at work. Depends. If I feed them, like, revival herbs and other stuff that makes them hate me, technically that's true. But if they love me, because friendship it's a friendship's an actual thing in this game, you can actually say they like me. Hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, people, Pokemon are different from human beings and living beings that contain unknown potential. They are living beings from few humans. We have much have to learn. Tell me. What's our responsibility towards wonderful beings called Pokemon? 
Right, we must liberate the Pokemon. Yes. That's why I find it funny. You can just be like, well... Yeah. Get, get, get Sis is just like, yeah, we need to liberate Pokemon because we're all selfish. And I'm just like, literally they evolve if we're friends with them enough. How? Make sense of it. <laughs> then and only then will humans and Pokemon truly be equals. Everyone, I end my work. Uh, everyone, I end my words here today by imploring you to consider the relationship between Pokemon and people, the correct way to proceed. We pre some sincerely appreciate or what, uh, your cooperation or whatever he said. Yeah, I have to admit that N's actual name is a complete joke and I'm not going to try and pronounce it. About speech, what do you think you should do? I don't know, it's an interesting thought, I guess. But, you know, I'm not going to... You know, when a lot of Pokemon are basically, an basically an you know, animals who don't know better, you've sort of got to, you know, throw your hands up and say, you know, you just got to go your hands up and go, you're talking absolute stupid. I mean, and speaking of stupid, this guy can hear Pokemon. Hey, N, don't be having a go at me of concealing Pokemon in Pokeballs. It's not my fault Game Freak won't actually put in the time and manpower to make sure that all my team is around me at all times. I'd be willing to do that as a trainer. Because I think, you, you know, you want to flex off the Pokemon you've got. It's okay. Probably. We Leo. I don't even think... I'd have to have a, I'd have to try and remember how much Perlon can do with a scratch. Oh, there you go. It wasn't a crit. I can um, I can imagine that, especially early on. The battle I always remember with N is the one on the after the Ferris wheel in Nimbasa City. I think it's called Nimbasa. It's a long time since I played the game, so I apologize. Come on, Bacon. You've got to save ours. And now it's just who doesn't get crit. Yeah, I see, I used to not like Sigilyph as a Pokemon. I was like, what the hell is that? And then learned about why I actually was about, you know, like the Nazca lines. I thought, actually, no, that's a quite good idea. I like that. We'll get to some Pokemon I don't like eventually. This earlier, you know, this early bit, there's a lot of the Pokemon designs I like. I like Purloin. Lillipup's kind of cute. Patrat is dangerously close to Rit Rattata. I never expected Pokemon to hear such things. What is... Th Does anyone know what the actual Rubik's Cube is that he has from his waist? I have always wanted to know that. Or the little thing he has on it around his neck. I've never really gone into what N... You know. What N's la what N actually has on his person. But his design's pretty cool. Pokemon will never become perfect beings. I want to change the world Pokemon because they are my friends. Ah, N... Personification of the young activist. Great. We're going to the gym leader to get pummeled. I'm going to heal. Also, another good thing this, this did was actually combine the, uh, the Pokemon Center and the Pokemon, which I always thought was a good idea. Saves just a little bit of time. Like... I always like I always liked how they did that. Obviously being very different. Because it was the first thing they ever did. But, you know, it saves time. It saves you going from one shop to the other. And apart from that Pokeball and the drums, I think that's everything we can really do in this town. Because obviously it's the starting town before you actually go to the, you know, first gym. 
this is basically what you get told is um what you get told is basically you know all the starting stuff like make sure your pokemon's in the first slot make sure to heal your pokemon make sure they don't have a status condition it's a very rare thing when you you actually see uh your, your mum in these games like uh, actually come out of the actual house usually they're home birds I wonder what Pokemon she has, because she doesn't have one at home, does she? Okay. She gave me the running shoes. Bad thing is... They didn't... This is a bad thing with this game. They didn't do what the... the brilliant thing they did in Generation 4, which was have an ability in Heart Gold and Soul Silver to turn off the running shoes and turn them on. Oh, it was beautiful. That's the, that's one of the greatest things Game Freak's ever done. Give me the ability to just have off, automatic running shoes without constantly beating down the B button. Oh, brilliant. If only. Game pat right up, pat right up her line. It's a little pup. Okay, and it's a level 7 little pup to say the least. The cube hanging from N's belt is a sliding puzzle similar to the Void Cube. Hmm. I think we Leah wants here. Oh no, we don't. We just apparently just die. Just... Turns out that Lillipop's quite strong at level 7. Hence why we want one. And as long as he doesn't crit, we should be A-OK. -okay. Here's me hoping. I felt that, that's a lot of damage. Uh, I was, that's a lot of damage. That, that hit me right in the, oof. Okay, no, that, that's a lot more damage, cool. Well, bacon, you're literally saving my bacon. Boy cube is being a Rubik's cube out the centerpiece. I get that. So the question is, do we get our encounter here? Yeah, we get our encounter here. We suffer. Technically, we can get Ardino here, but why would I? It's Ardino. This ain't no Mega Revolution. Line. Okay, and I can work with that. I think I can work with that. Let's try. Uh, the the main thing is the fact that uh, Lillipop and Tepig both don't know um, Cut, so basically you would you'd be stuck. Yeah, no Fairy Ardino, no Mega Ardino either, which actually makes it really good. Now I'm got now I've got a dark type. I will probably never proceed to use it. Devious Pokemon. Hmm. It's cute act as a ruse when victims let down their guard. Uh, they find their items taken, it attacks with sharp claws. Yep. We'll get to it because I'm going to do something stupid. What do we call the cat? Hmm. Think. Alex, your family's had loads of cats, okay? Well, not my particular close family, but my external family. Yeah, right. Now, if I remember correctly, this should be a pat rat. I'm just gonna heal up bacon. I like say we're for, was it 40 minutes and we've already this is the first like why like the first non-important trainer. Hmm. 
Right, I can't remember if you guys have bide at this t at this point, so I'm just going to leer and pivot out. Ah, okay, and you've got bite. Cool. Yeah, Pat Rat I find is bordering on just a replacement for Rattata. Like we could go through this game as we as we will and just basically go, you could have replaced this Pokemon with Rattata and it wouldn't have made that much difference. Like Purloin, I accept. It's copying a little bit from Puccina from Gen 3, but I'll take it because it's it's different. It's not Puccina, it's a cat instead of a dog or a wolf in their case. Also, Lightbird's kind of interesting. Yes, they're, they're all youngster Joey's cousin. Every single one. Every single foot. They're all related. Definitely. Uh, this should be the first time Cookie can actually hold her own. In a battle. Because I believe this one is a purloin? This is all from memory. So, yeah. I remember the first bits. Well, what's going to happen here is I'll... You, you will see when I when my memory goes, and it's probably right after we get into Nacreen City, is it? The second gym? So I can't remember. Pinwheel Forest is a, is a pain in the ass. I'll, I'll get I'll get to Pinwheel Forest in a minute. The fact that that is what that that fact that that whole area, both the outside and the inside, is one whole area, not two. It mm, really gets up my behind. Great, great use of the, the game, lass. Yep, you keep using that assist. Although, to be fair, the, the, I, I think these first few battles, they just they do have, um, not random AI, but close to it. And it's why they're going for assist, because I'm assuming it's meant to be, she doesn't know how to use it. Oh yeah, that's a godsend. We'll get to that once we get the... Oh, well, may as well say it now. The fact they made TMs unlimited in this game. You know, you absolute godsends for both competitive battling and just generic... Just, well, mod, be mod... You know, making a more better game so people can use more moves. Hi, Pat Rat. How's it going? Let's see how many flinches we can get in a row. Ah, disappointment. Uh, tackle should kill here, right? 50 plus stab. Oh, that's another thing as well. They made tackle, um, went from 35, 95. Or was it 40 in generation four? Anyway, they turned it into 50, they set it to 50 in this game and 100. So it's now better than pound and scratch, which does make sense. You know, if you hit someone or you scratch them, it's going to do less damage than if you go with your full body and just tackle the hell out of them. Saw a video about using all Pokemon moves in Gen 1 with the least amount of Pokemon. Hmm. Well, the thing is, with that, I guess there's upsides and downsides, because all, there, is, there are only some Pokemon who have certain moves. Uh, I'm trying to think of Pokemon that, ha that come under that sort of thing because all because there's a lack of moves there are pokemon say like um I'm trying to think of pokemon that actually just have like one move but and also in generation one as well the po like pokemon that have well what moves pokemon have in generation one because when you don't start on that generation you sort of forget what moves aren't and are in, in what generation as well as a lot of a lot of Pokemon as well like if you told me when I was a kid that Slugma or Merle was in generation 2 I want to you know no because um 
Uh, if you told me Slugmer and Meryl was in Generation uh, 3 instead of 2, I, I wouldn't... I would have been like, yeah, makes sense. You get them more affluently in those games rather than the games they're actually in. And Ditto is not actually the only Pokemon who can learn Transform because there's Mew, which I believe has Transform in that game. Obviously, you have to be a... You know, you have to do a bit of... You'd have to be... To get a legal Mew in Generation 1, you would have to be Japanese and be old enough to have a save file where you went to the distribution event at that time. Well, you could get a legal Mew with Transform, I'm pretty sure. Is it, I'm, I'm looking at... When I think of individual moves, I'm thinking more like uh, someone like... I don't know. Something like Mr. Mime was barrier a thing at that point? Or Jinx, maybe, with something like Lovely Kiss? Ah, fair enough. I was going to say, it doesn't have to get Mew to get, um, tra to get tra obviously, use uh, Transform. I'm just saying that Ditto is not the only Pokemon with Transform. I didn't think we'd have a whole team of girls. What are the odds of that? I know starters are usually, what, 50-50? Or slightly in the favour of boys? I always feel for the starter Pokemon who can, who are, who, like, who are, like, if you see the full evolution, they're clearly go or clearly meant to be, a, like, a boy or a girl. So, say, like, Poplio in Generation 7. You know, Pre-Marine is meant to be obviously obviously be a girl. Hmm. I'm just trying to think of all, all like the po Pokemon in Generation One that have that, that only have one that have one type of move. I guess is is Rolling Kick one? Did they invent Rolling Kick yet for the for Hitmonlee? As well as the punches. For Hitmonchan. They'd be the ones I'd be thinking of initially. Everyone really gets Fire Spin. Everyone really gets Flamethrower. Does Moltres have something? I can't really remember. Anyway. Do I pivot in? I think I do. Pre, uh, so pre marina's gender uh, gender ratio is yeah my, it's my stream it's my sucky internet I have looked into getting better one but it's you know it's a pain when you're trying to explain to people that you could get bit or when you get when when you're living with your parents and trying to explain to them who are much much older trying to explain internet and other stuff the they're, they're not the best at understanding it. So when you try and say like this package would be better than the one we already have and it's this much it's like pulling teeth thank you for calling me a tough cookie i do have one it's my dog okay into what i never how do you pronounce it this city is it striaton I have no idea, genuinely. Yeah, the thing is, you complain, but I'm not going to trust... I'm, I don't want to trust someone who has little experience or little knowledge of how the internet actually works to buy me a... or to get me a plan, or to get a new, like... to get me a, a new a new data plan, uh, and saying, yeah, this is what we're going to have now, and it potentially could be worse. I love my parents, but... Technology is not one of those strong suits. Right, so... We got everything on Route 2, didn't we? We got that Pokeball and Potion, right? Just checking. Usually when I'm in the motion of talking and just... I'm on autopilot. Yeah, we did. Good boy. Well done, me. Can I get that yet? Around here, because we need cut. 
I would pick it myself, but it's trying to explain to them, because at the end of the day, they're going to be paying for it. It's trying to explain to them why this is better. So, imagine trying to, you know, it's like speaking a foreign language to someone, and they're, like, who's never really picked it up before, and you're, you're trying to teach them. I'll get there eventually, don't worry. Okay, we've got a Dusk Ball, which I'm going to be keeping. Uh, I'm sure there's another, there's something else here. I remember there being a Dusk Ball. There's two Great Balls. I think I got one of them then. This is the other one. There was the X Speed we got. We get something from here. But I can't remember and we can't go down here yet because this old man will stop us. Uh, there's a full heal in the trainer school. Okay, yeah, but how, how is it? How would you actually pronounce it? Is it Striaton? I just want to know how you pronounce it. So the city name is from a series of parallel grooves and cloud formations that reveal the presence of rotation. Try. Mean, yeah, meaning free. And turn mean suffix of city name. I don't know, I don't pay attention enough to remember all the, like, there's always debates over Pokemon names, and I'm just, I'm usually a case of I'll try and stick to the, to when, the, you know, the canon, to what they say, but obviously that never is consistent. Okay, big question, which of the following items cures poison? An antidote. Which of the following cures a sleeping, sleeping Pokemon? I believe it's an awakening. I get a full heal. I'll use that definitely. Right, okay, and now Sharon's here. I mean, it, it, it's not really, if, if you use your two brain cells, even as a youngster, you should be able to get that right. Okay, we beat Sharon here now. I, I did come looking for the gym leader, definitely. Is this, I can't remember, is this an optional battle? Or is it not? Ugh. Now the question is, do I want to start off with a Leah? I think I do. Start off with a Leah. I believe these things have berries. Because I believe we get berries off. Sharon once we win this fight. I'm assuming they're going to be Oren because it's this early on in the game. Go for Bite, try and get that flinch. Yeah. Ooh. That was a standard attack. I think I can just wipe him out. Go for Tackle. Do you see the power of the Lillipop? My strong puppy will... It holds, it holds everyone accountable and takes no prisoners. Right. Now the prob you you I know people are probably gonna think I wanna switch here. But you don't want to do that because Perline has the ability to use assist, and one of Oshawott's moves, if I remember correctly, at this point is Water Gun, which if I put in against Pepig would not be fun. So we're just going to have to do it with Cookie. So learning to use items as well is important. Yep, give me those orange berries that I'm going to use and probably fail on, fail with the gym with. Right, okay. Now we've done that. We heal up and on to Dream Yard. Oh, well, I guess we'll talk to the gym first. Talk to the gym leader first before we go into Dream Yard. Yeah, I was not happy when they replaced Nurse Joy and Officer Jenny. I like the original designs. And I like Chansey. Chansey made sense to be the healing Pokemon because it's soft-boiled. 
Perlon can learn Cut. I believe it can do because it can learn Scratch, so by proxy you'd think it learned Cut. Gym leader of this town, you are. You want to challenge the gym. In this case, what's the first Pokemon you use? We can swap type, and you need to prefer for that type. Try training a Pokemon in the dream yard. Excuse me now. Okay, Silent, not Brock. Again, that was another thing that really annoyed me in Gen Generation 5, they got rid of Brock. I was mortified. I was like, you, t you, you took Misty away from me. You took Misty away from me. I grew up on the original anime. You took Misty away from me. And I, I, I could deal with May. I could deal with May. May was May was okay. She had a bit of baggage with Max. She, you know, but you know, it happens. You gotta love that. You gotta love the person. You have to deal with the family. Then you've got Dawn, who is me. Dawn really didn't do, didn't really do much. How are we doing, Phoenix? And then we got, and then we got Iris. And then you lost Brock. And I was, I was. You know, the heart can only take so much. Right, go defeat these two trainers. And then... We need to have a talk about... Stuff. Yep, yeah, could've... Charon could've used assist then and ended up getting a pearl line with water gun. Which probably didn't do much. I like, yeah, I, I like Serena. I like Serena and, um, what was the other dude's name? Clement, right? Still not good as Brock, but he's, he's okay. I like, I like Serena and Ash's sort of dynamic. Wasn't a big fan of Iris. Liked May. Liked May. Didn't really care that much for Dawn. Hey, if if you loved a Pokemon that month that much, would you would you dive off a hundred foot drop? Depends on what type of Pokemon it is, I guess. You'd think they'd have safety conditions, wouldn't you? In the Eiffel in the Eiffel Tower, or well, whatever you want to call it, whatever it was called in Gen in Gen set six seven. Six. Yeah, there was that episode where Cynthia and Dawn returned. My knowledge on the anime is not as good as it probably should be. Do I want to go back and heal, or do I just want to suffer the consequences? I suffer the consequences. Yeah, I, it's one of those. I I remember as a kid watching. I remember watching the. Up, it was up to. I watched the original series, the Indigo League, then the Orange Islands. I remember because. I remember my brother. We were watching one of the. Like I think it's called like the thing called Chronicles, one of the DVDs that I got. I remember game for Christmas. And my brother was like, "Who's that?" And it was Tracy, and didn't understand who it was. Because obviously he's he, he's older than me and tuned out. I stopped watching Pokemon like probably around advanced, like regularly, and then just took a cursory glance as I got older. Still played the games, but you know. Well, yeah, because how do you ra you know it's Ash being Team Rocket 150 times, or well, probably about 50 times per season. So you just go. You know, I'm not going to remember every single time that someone, that Ash wins, especially with some of the stupid reasons that they lose. Okay, Pat Rat down, and we're going to be switching out because we are deep off twice. Hi there, Pat Rap. Good to see you too. Uh, can we get some bite flinches? Pucky, you're doing me a godsend this this time around. I 
think we'll be okay. Just tackle and win. Beautiful. I mean, I... I love all... There you go, there's Youngster Joey. I remember just the weird sort of the weird little things that were in the uh, in, in the original anime. I was always frustrated that not that not every like area that was in the anime wasn't in the actual game. So like where we meet Muck or where Ash gets Muck from, I can't remember what it's called. It's something like Toxic City, something generic that made sense. Um, but anyway, usually most people and most smart people would get the, would talk to this girl here and get a pan sage. I'm not going to do that because I like to suffer. And also I want to prove that I can probably I can beat this gym without it. I have I can't remember the episode you guys are talking about. At all. I can remember like Moments. Yeah, but I, the thing is, you want to eliminate good encounters, or you want to eliminate some crap encounters. Like we're going to get Pat Rat, or we're going to get Pat Rat at some point, and I'd rather suffer in the er suffer in the early game to um, to get a better encounter potentially later on. And also, it's a point of just me showing that I'm that I that I can actually do this, and I'm kind of good at the game, and know what I'm doing. So that actually makes the first gym hard rather than dramatically easy. So, hey, we're doing a nuzlocke. May as well make it as hard as possible. I'm, I mean, I'm, we're hoping to get a pat rat in Dreamyard anyway. Maybe we get Muna. We want Pat Rat just to knock it off the encounter list. Because to be fair, outside of, you know, this this one battle, how good is Pan Sage leading on to the rest of the game? When there are probably better grass types I can get in Pinwheel Forest. Ooh, this could be interesting. Do I think he's going to crit me from one debuff? No, because I'm going to crit. Atta boy, Bacon. Atta girl, I guess. Yeah, do it. You want... Take, I, I always like any different challenge you can do. Well, Gen 5's sort of easy because all the Pokemon in the original Gen 5 are sort of locked in, especially with Black and White. It's my biggest problem with this game. They made a new, they made a whole 150 Pokemon and a whole 100 and whatever Pokemon they made. They basically wanted to sort of, you know, harken back to Gen 1. And because they made so many Pokemon, a lot of them... And for me, in my opinion, are just poor rehashes of um, Gen 1 Pokemon. Like I've already said about Pat Rat, it's very similar to Rattata. It's just got Looney Tune eyes. So for that reason, people give it a pass, I guess. And watch, and watch Hognose Hypnosis. I was going to say, this is also why we were all, always going to use Leah here. Uh, because at this point, Pat Rat knows Bide. And you can get lulled into, you know, no one wants to get bided or bowed. I don't know what the correct, what, what, what would be, what would be the term, the, the, the present day use of 
bide. No, the future use of bide. Bidden? Bided? Boded? I don't know. See, we need we need we need that we need Game Freak and the Pokemon Company to come out and, and, and answer the true questions. How do how, in if I'm going to use the term you or is it just like a is it more like what Pokemon is when you say like a when, like a plural? Like any Pokemon floral like is just you know, it's a something of Perline. In a group. There's no like there is a group of Perlines. Anyway, this should be the easy bit now. Yeah, black and white was. They were trying to. Con they, it was meant to be a soft reboot of uh, the original. Oh well, going back, it was meant to harken a lot, harken back a lot to the original series of games. Problem is, like I've said, there were some good things and some bad things. Good things is you probably got the best story out of any Pokemon game, like mainline Pokemon game. Like black and white story is pretty good, and black and white twos to be fair, although it does get a bit you know, farcical at the end when you've got, you know, a massive warship with crystal crystal beams. Thank you, it's bided. Cool. Uh, do I want helping hand? Since I probably won't be using in a, being in a lot of double battles, I don't think so. Right. And now we retreat. We heal up and we go into the. We know this is the most boring part. We go into the. Uh, we go into the what's his name? Uh, previous route and edge. Ah, oh, see that. See that rookie rookie mistake. Before I started streaming, I I, I had my dinner. what I always do, hence why sometimes it, I pause because I might burp. I, that's, that's the thing I usually do, I, when I'm, well, I watch stuff while I'm eating, because you can't really, I can't really edit while I'm eating, or play a game, or do anything, you know, like I'm not really good at multitasking. <laughs> so I, 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 my thing is usually I would listen to music, or edit or uh, oh sorry no um this to music i'll watch something but right now we're going to just edge up our little boys ready for the first gym fight and we will come back when we have sufficiently done so right let's get our asses handed to us by cress it is cress isn't it silent cress and chili get it because food welcome to the striaton gym and let me just note this down Right. I'm Chili. I light things up with Fire-type Pokemon. I'm the Water-type Specialist Cress. Pleased to make your acquaintance. My name is Silent. I like Grass-types. And lots of spinning. You see which of us... Uh, this is why the three of us um, are all here. Little Kane, listen up. Three of us will decide to do the battle based on the first Pokemon you chose. This is indeed the case. And the fire, uh, the partner you chose first was Fire-type, it seems. This is correct. I shall be your esteemed... I, sh I shall be and... It shall be and... I and my esteemed water types, you must face in battle. I feel like Cress is the, the sucky brother. Like, out of all of them, he's not that interesting. Okay, let's lose. What an incredible look for you to battle the best amongst the three of us. Uh, like I've said before, we're going to go in for, I believe, two tail whips. And it should, in theory, potentially... Knock Lillipup down to, uh, to to yellow health. If not, we're in big trouble. Big trouble. He's going to work up first. He's got bite and work up for some strange reason. They seem to really put moves from these guys. I don't know why. Okay, we're speed tied. That's not bad.
Now, the question is, do I have that much faith in Bacon to take two bites? Or do I gam or do I just go for the tail whip to guarantee the extra kill, or do I just go straight for the tackles? Let's suffer the consequences. Yep, there we go. Now we're screwed. <laughs> I think now it's two bites. Not going to be enough. Also, uh, two tackles won't be enough. Although, him going for an extra workup. Unless he crits. That's actually very good in my favour. Of course he got a crit. <laughs> Told you, one in sixteen. Uh, it had to be this fight as well, didn't it? It had to be this fight. I mean, you can probably still win this, but it's going to be a lot harder now to play the actual game and win. Like I'm going to have to get Timber in Pinwheel Forest. Right. And then I think two will guarantee it. I think a third workup will work. Oh no, great, get a crit. Pity that other one ones have gone through. And could have won. Oh, it's gonna suck without our starter. I'm really annoyed about that. Oh yeah, this is one thing that really annoys me. Uh what's the overlay thing called? Uh, uh it's called Poker Link. That's the one I use anyway. Oh, I'm really annoyed that we lost our starter to a crit. That's frustrating. Because Pig Knight sort of sets us up for... Um, Pig Knight's the reason we, we... I really Pig Knight is the big reason why I pick Tepig. Because he's got the ability to use... Um, he's got the ability to use Arm Thrust in the second gym. Because he is... You know, going two on two with Herdia and Watchhog. It's really important that we have him. I'll still play it out, but I don't think we can beat I don't think we can beat Lenora now. Unless we get Timber in Pinwheel. Which probably means I need to fish for Pit of in Route 3. Right, I'm going to bury my bacon because of goddamn 1 in 16 rolls. All, all that I wanted. I, I'm, I'm confident that if we hadn't have got 1 in 16 there, we could have just won that instantly. Like, and it had had no repercussions for it. But because of that, because of not not that, can I take the item, please? Just taking the, the item off, my off the corpse of a dead piglet. I'm gonna have to level up Perloin. That's fun. Eh, we'll be fine, probably. Yeah, at least I got some food. You see what I mean, though? Barring a... Barring a poor... Or bar barring a 1 in 16, I would have kept both guys, though, because I've, I have I was certain that I wasn't going to die to a 
that Pampo doing one extra work up and Lilliput would have, I believe, won that. Right, time to see if Perlon can use cut. Um, yep, I'm looking for mysterious Pokemon because my starter died due to a stupid crit bite. I would have took a crit at any other any other probable time. I even think if I even got a crit on the um I gotten a crit at any other uh, even on the water gun, I, I think I would have survived it. But it took me to 23. It's only that one turn with the crit that that's really that really would have killed anybody. Oh no, it's Team Plasma. Oh yeah, t speaking of Peter. Yep, we're going to liberate Pokemon by kicking the ever-loving crap out of them. Fine. I'm already hurt. I've lost my starter. The, dep the depression is setting in. The thing is, we've got to got to keep um, Herdy up to level down to level 18. Yeah, they kind of do have an idea. <laughs> do do have an ideological crisis. Yep. It's also a shame that some of the Pokemon you're mentioning we won't be able to use because of level caps. For instance, I'd love to use Volcarona, but, you know, what level does it evolve into Volcarona from Larbesta? I'm assuming I'll, I'll, I'll ballpark it. 55? Yeah, Manatan we can use and Chandelor. I'd love to use Lampant. Love that little guy. I know Chandelor gets a lot of, um, yeah, 59 for... Larvesta evolving into Volcarona. Thanks, thanks, game. Thank you, Game Freak, for being it for allowing us to play as all the Pokemon required before we can beat the game. <sighs> they do that with a lot of Pokemon in this game, though. That's why Black and White 2, I think they, they sorted it out a bit better. Yeah, there's so many Pokemon that evolve late on, like you can't get Braviary, you can't get Mandibuzz, you cannot get Hydreigon. Uh, I'm trying to think of any others. Is Bisharp above that level cap though? Right, you're at level 6, you can probably take a hit. I just need less damage with a uh, with some hits on Lilliput. That's all. Uh, of course, she missed. Brilliant. It's a shame because you, there are so many. There, there, there's some great looking Pokemon in in those later those later evolutions. Volcarona's great. Uh, Hydreigon is obviously really cool, although. You know, not really my favorite final dragon or dragon evolution. Uh, Braviary's cool. Mandibles is really nice looking for a vulture Pokemon. Oh, you cannot believe we lost. You had a Purloin and a Pat Rat. Mandibuzz is also bulky. True. Very true. Only problem, only, like, that seems to be the issue with a lot of bulky Pokemon. You're going to have a bulky Pokemon, it's not very quick, and I, from what I remember, Mandibuzz is not very fast.
I like that. They instantly just say like, is this, is this him preaching or is this him trying to control people with speeches? Just instantly opening up the fact that Getsus is evil. Not even pondering the topic of the fact that, you know, he might be a nice, you know, he might be a nice person. Who knows? Not even debating the topic for a second. Yep, it was all a dream by Mashana. I always wonder how they get a lot of the Pokemon cries. I do like Muna's design and Mashana's, just because of the like the the idea that they brought they brought. Uh, the, you know, like the, um, I think it's in Generation 1 where they have the idea that there was a, like a pig, like a pig Pokemon. With flowers on it, or they reference it in, in Generation 1 and they finally actually made a Pokemon that, that's like that. I do appreciate it. Why, Fennel? My starter's dead. Life is pointless. Okay, and let's get um let's get our part right and get all the items here while we're at it. Or Muna. We could get Muna. I would prefer Pat Rat. But we'll, you know. Beggars can't be choosers at this point. Oh yeah, also trio badge. Boop. For the record, I hate the badges in this game and can't wait for a remake to be for a remade where we actually get images that I don't have to uh, spend 10 to 15 minutes like cutting off the excess of and trying to make it look as nice as it can be. God, that's an issue. Uh, I'm trying to think of what other items are in Dream Yard that we can nab at the minute. There's no hidden items yet, I don't think, because we don't have the dowsing machine. Although I could be wrong. There's one around here, because you see it from the other side. There's one on top here, and there's one on the left. And I think that's all the items we can get. Could be wrong. I was trying to go back from my memory. Is there any? Is there one in that like patch of grass there? Hmm. It's really interesting look uh, look at Dream Yard though, is what like what did this used to be? Is there any like law behind it? Never really thought about it. Alright, let's go find my pat rat. There it is. There's my boy. Oh, that's a lot of damage. But yeah, we got the well, the X, the, what we got the X item from outside, and there was the Pokeball inside here. There's the Paralysis Heal, the Repel. I can't remember what the other one that was that we got. Is there any hidden items here that I'm forgetting? I don't think there is. That was stupid of me as well. Could have lost Pat Rat there. Uh, right. Uh, of course. Because we can't have nice things and you can't stay in the ball to save your life. God, I can't wait till we get Pokemon that, you can, that can provide status conditions. There we go. Pat rat, scout Pokemon. Extremely cautious, they take shifts to maintain a constant watch of their nest. They feel insecure without a lookout. Uh, what are we gonna call this one? Looney? Uh, 
And we've got a new friend. And we get an, another Pokemon taken off the list, which is good, especially since it's Pat Rat and it's in most routes. Problem is, what the hell are we going to do now? For instance, the battle against Sharon. The second one's going to be a bit of a pain in the ass. Then we've got battle. It's it, I think we'll get up to Lenora. But I'll play it out just to see what we can do. Because why not? Losing um, uh, losing Tepig to or oh, Pig Knight for that bat for that battle against Lenora is a massive loss. Oh yay, the Sea Gear! That thing that I'm definitely going to use in this game and promptly switch off. The amount of times I got stuck on that, uh, I got stuck on that like box by when clicking no and then clicking no again. Even if you say no, you want to learn more. No, she's too happy, so she has to tell you. Because you can't get out of it. There is no escape. You will learn about you will learn about Game Sync. You will learn about the Sea Gear. And you will suffer. And now I can leave, depressed, knowing that my Pokemon is dead. Right, now. Do I want to level up Looney, or do I want to level up... Uh, Willow. Hmm. It's actually a really good, really good ability, uh, really good uh, nature for Willow. And then Pat Rat's just generic, which is not that bad either. Useless ability. But who am I to judge? So we do get an item here. I can't remember what item it is. It's around here, or is it in the trees? It's in the trees. A bam mushroom. Oh, are those the ones I can't sell in stores? I have to sell to, like, a specific guy. Ah, oh, well. Right then. Let's get access to here first. Level 10. Surely we can just gang up on one of them. And rinse and repeat. Survived? Hmm, impressive. Right. Yeah, I just want to see how far I can go and if I can beat Lenora without the starter. Because that'd be, you know, pretty hype. Thing is, though, I do, do I feel like I can beat Sharon with this team at the moment? Because it's basically going to be Lilliput versus Oshawott and Purloin, which isn't fun. So I might, I might just take the levels here that we have and feed them into Pat Rat, so I have more of a chance. See if I can get that Hypnosis as well.
Or we could get flinched. That's also a possibility. Just the damage that cook uh, that sorry, I was gonna say cookie that bullet pups do. It's just mm, beautiful. Yeah, take down and get rid of Otis Sleuth because we've got bite, so why would we need to ever enable it to ghost type? And Muna. Right. Hi Piggy Bank. How are we doing? Oh no, it used that. I'll just make it suffer less by using Bite. What psychic move does this thing have? Yeah, it's setting up for the rollout. That's a move I could have used with Tepic, although I wasn't probably going to use it. Because it gets defense curl and then rollout. Eventually. It's an interesting strategy. I probably would have taken the rollout, but not used the defense curl. I much prefer lowering my opponent's stats than raising my own. Unless it's like something insane like Swords Dance. Right, then we've got the, the children. Come on, kids, give me, give me your pocket money. I'm gonna beat up your elemental monkeys. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yes, the ice ball. The move that no one saw coming. I don't know how I feel about the elemental monkeys. I mean, they've got one use in the game. And that is just to get you through the first gym if you cannot get a grass type, water or fire type, of course. But apart from that, there's not really much use for them. Why did I bite though? That was dumb. And I... Again, when we talked about Pokemon that are, you know, they're designed in a way that should be a certain, you know, a certain sex or a certain gender in this game. Um, you know, being one of the other ones, you've got like Simipaw, which is blatantly, blatantly meant to be a girl. I mean, the, to be fair, the Pokemon have been doing it for ages, though. The fact that you can get female Mr. Mimes. Right, I think we'll play until Lenora. And if not, we'll probably end up doing... Oh, we'll probably end up just carrying it on. Like, we'll do another attempt. If we fail. Oh look, VTech Chimcha. That has a turd on its head. Just realized another good thing about Lillipup as well. Because it's got vital spirit, it can actually be it can actually be uh, put to sleep. Which is very good for Lenora. We might actually have a chance of pulling that off. Now that I think about it, if I can just get a couple decent encounters. Say like something like Rog and Roller from Wellspring. I think we could I think we we might be able to pull it off. We need to get a bit lucky, but. it off. The cycle through. Beat one Pokemon because Pat Rat sucks and then go back and heal.
I'm still not happy with my with like the, the you know like the the uh, design I've got here for the like the overlay. I'm still not I'm not wasn't happy when I made the dream ball, but it's the best I could probably do. And I'm still not happy about how it looks on the bottom. I think it could be a little better on the bottom. I did play. I had like a, a week where I was playing around with different ideas or different concepts, moving stuff about where I could put certain things. <laughs> a ball lock. <laughs> Sounds a lot more different than what it should be. Well, you have to catch a Pokemon in each and each and every individual ball. The problem is that would sort of screw you over because your starter would have to be in a Pokeball and you couldn't get. Over, or you, like for now I'd, I'd have to have what three Pokemon because I can only get a Great Ball until I get to Striaton and a Dusk Ball so at this point I'd probably end up with three Pokemon can't accept any gift ones because they tend to come in Pokeballs And then trying to think when you get like when you get like the when you get the option to get like heal, quick, timer. I don't know when you get those in this game. I assume around probably the fourth gym. Now does he start with Osho or does he does he go with Perline in this? Because obviously in the first battle he starts with Oshawott. Hi, Cheren. Oh, I see your starter didn't die. Mine did. I mean, how do you keep getting infinite starters since I've killed yours already? But twice, but, you know, I guess Juniper likes you more than me. Right. Hit a couple Leas. Oh no, my fire moves do very little. Uh, what, what move are you talking about? Oh, what spot? Like, yeah, I can understand. I can understand why it's a move. A little bit. It's not as useless, I guess, as something like Mud Spot, where a lot of the rock types that use it are, you know, also ground, which, you know, removes electricity from being a usefulness. I guess if, if Water Spot was on Pokemon that, you know, weren't resistant against fire to begin with, it'd actually be a somewhat considered decent move. No, not particularly. You only see him using on bad trainers, on like a uh, on bad trainers. Oh boy, can't wait! For, can't wait for the takedown. That's gonna be fun. Because takedown's gonna be funny when. It misses, because what is it, 85? Is it 90, 85? And the fact they give you a move that this powerful early in the game is interesting. And here it comes, come on. It to me twice, I may as well just switch back into Lilliput. We're, equal, we're not equal in strength because I have knowledge that you don't. <laughs> and that, that knowledge is what Pokemon you have. I mean, those guys really did screw up, didn't they? They had, they ran, they really ran the wrong way.
Hmm. That's, that's kind of funny. <laughs> the, guy, the guy used water spout instead of water spout. I wonder what Pokemon it was, because I'm trying to think of what Pokemon can use water spout. It's a lot of gem free Pokemon, from what I remember. Can I, am I going to get told off by Bianca for going back and healing? No, I'm not. Brilliant. I couldn't remember if that actually happens. But yeah, if, if Pokemon, if those like Mud Sport, Water Sport were actually on Pokemon, that actually would benefit from using it. Say like a Water type with Mud Sport, that'd actually be useful. At least it'd be, you know, actually make the move useful instead of what it is, which most of the time it's, you know, Geodude with Mudspot. Why does it need it? Ought to heal up. Oh, I'm fine. We don't need to talk to Bianca. Please be a rock and roller. Okay. I wanted a rock and roller because we need it for Lenora because it's obviously a defensive wall and normal types being defensive. And it knows headbutt already. That is a plus as well. But rock and roller to be fair, apart from like, could you have not used Geodude instead of Rog and Roller? I mean, the fact that Rog and Ro I don't actually know the thing behind Rog and Roller, but it sort of just looks like a... Ha do I say it? Yeah, sod it. It's just a, it's just a, it's just a rock with a, with like, with a hole in it. Essentially, it's a... It, lo it looks a bit like just, you know, a... Hmm. <laughs> Don't know what to call it. Uh, how about, you know, how about I get my... I'm going to call you Glory for reasons. And nothing else. Because we're going to win with Rog and Roller. That's why we're going to call it Glory. But yeah, why couldn't they just use Geodude though? That's the... There wasn't really much you could do with it. Or much with, like, Rog and Roller that's not really the same as Geodude. I mean, I like, I don't mind Rog and Roller, don't mind Baldor, Gigalith, I don't really care for. Adamant as well. <laughs> uh, if I did, if I hadn't lost Tepig, we'd, we'd have a run right now. Come on, Glory. You've got this. Maybe not. Fair play. On the plus side, you guys don't have Pursuit yet. Exactly, not Rattata versus not Geodude. You could have, like, supplanted some of these Pokemon. Oh, yeah, cool. Yeah, great use of the Detect there. It's like it's pandering to me, like, yeah, well, well done for switching out your Pokemon. We'll give you a free pass. You're gonna give me a free pass on that one in 16, you asshole. I'm still salty about it. I refuse to not be. And of course, from nowhere, two more Team Plasma grunts, because why not? I want to know where Team Plasma found all these gingers. Or, do they, is that, or, or is that a prerequisite for joining? You have to dye your hair? I never realized how weird Cheren's attire looks from the back as well.
Yeah. Rog and Roller. We've not seen we've not seen the other one, yeah, so. We, we need to go back. We need to stay in Wellspring Cave to get um Did one of them use Bide? I can't remember. Okay, I guess not. And down she goes. Yeah, Rock and Roller is going to be really good for us against Lenora. I think it's going to be good. It's going to be really good against um. What's her name? Alessa. Again, cause if she if she bolt switches into an Amalga. So if we get something stupid like uh. Zeb Striker tries to go for a Volt Switch into on, onto like a Rog and Roller. I don't know when Boldor evolves. So maybe we might get Boldor. We might have to use Rog and Roller in that fight. But if we can get like a Rock Blast off, off a Volt Switch into an Amalga, it could be a kill. getting ahead of ourselves. Use this potion to heal up Glory. Can we find... There it is. Not Zubat. I, f I find this one to be more egregious for some reason than than, uh, than Rog and Roller because the name is literally just a, a, a slight syllable change. I don't mind Wubat in terms of design, it's just the fact that, oh wow, you had two Pokemon in in in, in a in a in, in the first cave of the game, and it's literally a walking rock and bat. Could you not have thought of anything different than you know the two obvious Pokemon from Generation One that already cover the already cover that role? I mean, even like um, even like the other Pokemon in here, which we've not seen yet, which is Drillba. Um, I'll accept Drillba because you know, at least Drillba looks like a mole. Won't say you know looks more like a mole than what Diglett does. So I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. With with also Excadrill's pretty decent. So I can't really moan at that one. Um. You did something with it. But dr with, dr with dr Drillba, I can accept. These, like, Wubat and Rog and Roller, they're not different enough from the original Pokemon they seem to be ripping off. As well as, it's an interesting way you actually get Drillba. The fact you can only get it from, um, you know, swirls, quick, I guess, kicking up of dust. Alright, fair enough. I'll shut up about Wubat. Just let me go, and we'll be fine. Missed something here. I'm trying to remember where it is. Is it here? Yeah. I remember. I remember my hidden items. And I think the rest of the items in here are from on the other side. Yeah, I'll talk to these two first because otherwise they pull us back if we try to heal up. Heal balls. 
That reminds me, if I ever do a Gen Formals lock, I'm going to have to draw them. That's going to be fun. I've got the Dusk Ball. Garbodo. I kind of like the meme of Trubbish. Because it, like, it is a genuinely, like, ridiculous Pokemon. <laughs> it's just a bag of trash. But I, like... I understand like the meme of what people or like the what people say when they about Trubbish how you know um ga, uh, muck muck is liquid toxic is is like liquid po is liquid uh, pollution uh, wheezing is gas pollution so I guess you know having you know solid pollution I guess makes the scent um, makes more sense in being an addition. So I, I I'm not I, I I'm I don't want to I don't want to crap on Trubbish that badly, even though I really like the idea of having a trash bag as a Pokemon just gets dumb. Like the the concept the idea is a bit stupid. I think there was probably something else they could have done instead of making it a literal trash bag. But you know. Okay, that's that's what they wanted to go for. Fair play. Now we're gonna beat this trainer and then go into the dark grass here because we can get the dark grass. Uh, we can get a high level Pokemon off it plus double battles, so we uh, get more of a chance of getting the Pokemon we want. I really like Blitzel as, as a Pokemon, and I don't know what the hell they did with Zeb Striker. Genuinely, what were they thinking? You had a perfectly nice looking zebra Pokemon, and you even had a cool haircut, and then you ruin it with Zeb Striker by, I don't know, whatever the hell you want to call it they did to it. It was not good. It, it was it was not fun. It's painful. Yeah, you could say Electric Ponytail. I actually like Blitzel a lot, because... Did we have a Zebra Pokemon before this? I don't think we did, did we? I'm gonna get Herdia? Yeah. Give me my mustached Pokemon. I've always wanted a Schnauzer in real life as a dog. I'd, I'd love to be able to be old enough to the point where I can grow the beard with and, and then get it styled as the, uh, the same as the dog. Or we can get the same beard styled. Very hipster, I know, but a man can dream. Hi, Charon. Yep, that grass. Every now, two Pokemon pop out. What's the issue with Zeb Striker? Have you seen the way it looks? It's very ugly as a Pokemon compared to Blitzel. There's just too much going on in its design for me personally. Okay, and let's find ourselves. I mean, do we want to go for the Pidov or do we want to go for the Blitzel? So the two that's the two we can get at this point. Yeah, I'm not a big lover of Zeb Striker's design. I think there's way too much going on. And it's it's a, it's a, it's like I said, it's a shame because Blitzel is actually really nice looking in terms of like the the actual mane it has and everything, giving it like the, the like a bit of a mohawk as a fundable. But then they ruin it and give it like just a standard mane, and it becomes. A boring, angry zebra. The one cool thing I'll give it is that its mane actually lights up. Like when it when it attacks, its mane lights up and goes yellow. I thought that was an interesting uh, touch. Come on, I know you want to. Give me it. And we got the bird. It's okay. It's another generic. Doesn't mean, doesn't mean we'll get Blitzel, but it just means we have a generic and we knock off a load of gen generic encounters later on, which is pretty good. Yep. 
Yeah, again, you re you read my mind, chat. It's not Pidgey. <laughs> Um, I don't mind on Pheasant. Piddle and Tranquil are just sort of generic. Especially when you've already had a Pigeon Pokemon. Like, I like the male on Pheasant. That's kind of a nice gimmick. The fact that it's got the, uh... It's got the mask and everything. If you could have leaned into that a bit more. You know, with its previous evolutions. A bit like what Corviknight did. With its previous evolutions, that could have been something interesting. Uh, Pit of Tiny Pigeon Pokemon. Lives in cities, they are accustomed to people, flocks often gather in parks and plazas. What do we want to call the bird? I'm n and it's not going to be not Pidgey. Hmm. What's the girl's name in a... Um... Oh, I don't even get the good one pheasant as well. What's the girl's name in a uh, Ace Attorney? The one that the one that's the uh, dates Ronda Light. I'm gonna have a look at that now. That's gonna be the that's gonna be her name. Desi, that's it. That's his nickname anyway. It's Desiree. But that see that that feels a little too. I've already put glory. I don't think I want to be leaning into that sort of theme a bit too. I'll be leaning into that theme a bit too much. Oh, whoops, a daisy. Oh, and that. The thing is, do I have enough to win? With a level 18 cookie and a level uh, and a level 18 rock and roller to beat Lenora, because I'm not really big on banking on getting timber in Pinwheel Forest. Uh, it's one of those, I guess, because there's there's so many options in Pinwheel Forest that we we could either get say um, we could go on the outside and potentially get Timpole. Timber and Piddle is off the list now, so that actually makes it better to get. Okay, so Rock and Roller evolves at level 25. So he is good for Gym 4, correct? Meaning we get Oldor in that fight. Pretty good. That's what I mean. Glory is very good for Alessa, just because although it's got a bad special defense, the fact that um, just the fact that you can, you know, obviously it's one of the only Pokemon you get up to that point that doesn't particularly have a it doesn't get hit for a normal move, I guess, it doesn't, or for a super effective move against it. Because like, say, with a Molga, all three starters get hit by, I think it's Aerial Ace it has. It's either Aerial Ace or it could be Acrobatics, but I think, I don't know if it would be. That might be a bit, a bit too much. I'd have to have a check of Alessa as a gym leader. But, the fact that you only have to deal with Volt Switch, and if you can, you know, get lucky enough, or see, like I've said before, if you get a Zeb Striker with Uldor, because Zeb Strike is very physical, is a very physical attacker, Baldor's quite the uh, the problem to Zeb Striker because I don't know. I don't know if it does have if it has flying gem acrobatics. We're screwed. <laughs> I think that's but that's meta play. I'm hoping it's meta play anyway. I don't know if Pokemon would drop that so power. That that's a very powerful attack. What is it? 120 base with stab because of the flying gem. And acrobatics is 60. It's been a long time, so forgive me if I'm not clued in to my uh to my uh my meta.
I'll be taking this. And then I think we've got what, like three, three more trainers before we get into before we get to Lenora. Might try and ru might try and like run it and try and not do the pinwheel forest. I'll have a look at what Timber's move set is beforehand. They've tip like I know Timber get Timber gets low kick, but if he doesn't get anything like good that's like say karate chop or low sweep. Or a move that actually is useful. Because low kick's not that good. It doesn't do me that much help against Herdier and Watchhog. I need something with a bit more staying power. If Herdier and Watchhog were, were heavier, yeah, we'd be, in, we'd be talking. But because of it, I don't know. Gonna have a look at it now. So I can get to level 18. Ooh, that's not good. Right, we're not going for Timber. We'll just we'll wait. We'll have to go in with Glorian Herdia and suffer the consequences. Yeah, the only fighting move that Timber learns is low kick, and that is not very good. Not for us anyway. We're gonna have to suffer through glory and herdia. I guess if we do get through, we can level up Pidov for the fight against Berg. Because Pidov obviously. Oh yeah, crap, I forgot we had work up. Yeah, that's, see that see? That was the plan. That was the initial plan to use Tepig with Work Up, Flame Charge, and Arm Frost, and just completely, you know, obliterate Lenora. Got completely forgot about Work Up. Uh, what move do we want to get rid of for this? Harden. You've already got a really high defense. At least Sand Attack gives me the chance of getting out of situations. I'm sure there's an item over here, but I can't be bothered spending the amount of time, because I'm pretty sure it's a hidden item as well. I can't be bothered spending the amount of time it would take me to actually go in for every blade of grass to get it. Unless it's... I might go backtrack if we get through Lenora. I guess we're hoping. F I guess we're now hoping for our Manatan in Route Four in the Desert Resort. Now, yeah, fire tie it back. Ah, oh, there's the Blitzel. You don't have Shockwave already, do you? I know you get it early. completely forget about work up it's just usually because it's the first gym you don't really need to you don't get tms and then you gym two this gym is usually the first sort of hard fight you face what do you have little girl Ah, stuff that cannot affect me. Oh well, I guess they can, they have bite, but that titanic defense start just doing the just doing the doing the deal. And keeping me out of the red. Oh, rookie mistake, trying to use detect twice. Oh three times.
I can get the rock smash from the woman in Pinwheel Forest, yes. We've not been to Pinwheel Forest yet, so we're fine. We've not got been there yet. It's one of those I'm considering going straight into the gym. Just because I've, you know, Glory and uh, Fingy are already at level 15, 16. So to the point of when I, I beat the trainers. I can I can edge up on the um, on the trainers in Pinwheel Forest before we go in, and then beat it, hopefully. There's one more trainer. Is this an awakening? God damn it! Had to be had to had to be a had to be one of you, didn't there? Had to be one of you. Beautiful. Still got it. Still got that knowledge. And speaking of, that's where my this is when we enter Nakreen City is where my knowledge ends. Right. Guess we can't escape the wood buggers. And especially when they start flinching me. I was going to say, because outside, isn't it? It's like... Outside, the Pokemon I know you can get are... Uh, like, Timpole, Timber, Pidove... And then, depending on what game you play, Throw and Sock. Which would obviously be nice, but that's... They're like a 10% chance encounter if I had to take a pump. Maybe even less. Uh, Who's last? So I think I'd probably rather go inside the inner the, like the go to the inner area and try and fish for something like a petalil to get like a grass type or something like that because I do I do like Lilligan would probably be a nice Pokemon to get although if we delay we could get Saul's book I do like Saul's book a lot Decisions, decisions, I guess. Nah, I'm, I'm gonna go with Glory and Herdia rather than Timber. We'll suffer the consequences. I've already got my water Pokemon, though, in mind. Oh, this could be fun. Um, my water Pokemon is a guaranteed encounter, so we're fine on the, on the water front. Provided the fact we don't meet a grass type. When we get it, we should be fine. I did just think of an issue we have, though. I don't know how strong N is outside of the uh, outside of the gym. Oh, well, just he's in the he's inside the gym, but when you find him, it's, they bat you battle him outside. Thank you, Charon, for giving me the one berry I need to deal with. Uh, Hypnosis. I would have given it Pig Knight if he were alive.
right then. Let's see. See what I mean, though? We've only just got to six Pokemon. Oh, we, we would have got six Pokemon if Tepig had been alive. La ver there's very much a lack of encounters. Right. Okay. I think he leads off with Piddov. So I'm gonna face him now. I wanna see... I want to see things that no one can see. The truth inside Pokemon, inside Pokeballs. The ideals of how trainers should be. And a future where Pokemon have become perfect. Do you feel the same? Let's answer no and get both dialogue when I probably get beat by Lenora. Hmm, I expected much more from you. Now pay attention. My friends and I will test to see if you can see the future too. Game starts on Piddle. Piddle, that's good. And level 13. Should be a Doddle then. The only one I'm worried about is... Uh, Timber. So I'm hoping Piddle or Desi in our party has um, Gust. That always tickles me in Pokemon. Why they, well, yeah, all those psychics who say they're going to beat you and then they don't because they've just got free Gastlys. You know. What can you do? Oh yes, now, we talk about Pokemon that uh, got redone, didn't we? Well... Hi, Poliwag. How, how's it going? You seem to have gained a human face for some reason. It's very disturbing. Oh boy. Well, since I know how good your attack stat is, I'm going to... Just pivot, pivot out and back in. The, good, the only good thing about Rog and Roller when you think about it is the fact that because it's only Rock type, it's not getting hit for that four times damage. The problem is, it's, the special defense is so goddamn piss poor that it basically feels like it's getting hit with a four, with a four times weak Rock move. And lovely people are setting off fireworks. It's not even New Year's. It's not even New Year's Eve yet. Although I can't help people. You want to set off fireworks? Go for it. How are you guys celebrating your New Year's Eve? I'm not really one for the occasion, personally. I think I'll be watching it with my brother. What, probably watching sports or darts or some, something like that. Mm, nice. Always nice to get three bottles of wine from work. We we usually can do that from working behind, like obviously working behind a bar. A lot of bottles get opened, but I'm not I'm not really a big drinker. Okay, I know this thing has rock throw, but does this thing have rock throw? It can learn it, but does it have it at this level? Well, we're going to find out. Ah, uh, crap. <laughs> yep, that was the oh crap. Okay, and who's taking an L? <laughs> Who do I think could take the could take the the hit here? Hmm. I guess we'll growl just in case he does have a rock throw and doesn't crit. Alright, Timber's probably got about similar level of health to Pit of. So we've probably hit him for about 20. Something like that. I don't want to risk Cookie, don't want to risk Glory, I don't want to risk Desi. Looney, do you want to take a punt at it, buddy? Because Desi's sort of my out in case we don't get anything else for Berg. 
Godspeed. Yep, sorry about that, bud. Yeah, well, I, it wouldn't have if I had a fighting... If I had a fighting pig. I also might have forgot that Timber has bide. That also is a problem. I didn't want to put it in again. I didn't want to, like, the free Pokemon I wanted to keep, I didn't trust that Bide, depending on, I don't know how much health Conkle, or uh, sorry, Timber has. And again, I think Phoenix was right. Timber, sort of a B-Tech Machop. It's going to get the power I need, Reshiram. I feel like Reshiram fits in more than Zekrom does. I don't know. Just fit, it fits in more as a character. It's the look of the actual Pokemon. Okay, let's ditch our second dead friend. And back down to four. I thought that he might have been able to survive it on the health he had. Because he was like, uh, it's 30 yard, it might be a... It's a gamble, it'll be close, but we might get away with it. So I just thought, there's no point in me putting Purloin in. We already have a normal type. We have two normal types, so I thought it was a, it was an educated gamble. Just because I thought Piddub's not going to be able to gust him with two, with two more. So, is what it is. Okay, and let's get a tour around the museum. Look at that! Definitely not a Dragonite statue with a horn on it. Yep, just this random little rock that we found. Lenora happens to be your wife. Good for Lenora. I guess. Give me my give me my free super potion and get out of my way. Yep. Oh, I remember this puzzle. Let's see if I can remember it from memory. In which way? Because that's the way I remembered it always. I never really did the puzzle, the actual puzzle. I sort of just went. We go here, then we go here, and remember the order of which books we came from. With that in mind, I can't remember where we start, so that's going to be awkward. Right then. Let's try and hit that rock move that we never really hit, because all rock moves are bad in terms of accuracy, and I don't know why. Until I think SmackDown was in, until SmackDown, until this game, I think they finally had a rock move that was, oh. Fair play, I didn't know you had crunch. Ancient power, yeah, fair play, yeah. That's another one. But to be fair, how many rock Pokemon actually use ancient power? So I'd, I'd be surprised if the answer was not a lot less than what people actually, what people would actually think. Because a lot of Pokemon use ancient power, but they don't actually, they're not actually rock types. Like, I, the Pokemon I remember using ancient power the most was probably something like... I want to say Togekiss, to be honest, but does Togekiss actually learn it? I'm pretty sure it does. Yeah, I remember, because I used to be using Ancient Power Serene Grace to try and bulk up my stats.
Okay, and was it nice to meet you, Pokemon? This one. Okay, first try. We're on a on a on a roll. Pokemon, small brown Pokemon. So it's something about Pat Rat. Somewhere in the middle shelf. Is it this one? I know that because the opposite is the final one. Back the covers are far. The second question was easy. Flur flames burn inside its body and gives off smoke from its head when it runs. Someone might be reading it. Well, it's not you. It's probably you then. Do I? Do I? When given, I, I don't know if I actually get super potions. I think I do at this point. Ah, it's only six health. You'd be okay. It's not like this woman's got a herdier or anything. The weird thing about the gym leaders in this game is that they all have um I'm pretty sure was it they all have free Pokemon at most. I don't know why they limited it to just free. Very weird. Okay, and of course you did. I forgot you guys use X items for some reason. Okay, nine. So we're talking eighteen as a crit. I'm getting one. I can probably get in one more hit. Go for a rock blast. Why not? I'm feeling lucky. See, it all comes together. Uh, mud slap. Do I really want mud slap? I mean, technically, it's better than sand attack because it 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 almost always gives me the accuracy drop I want. So I guess I'll take it. Like, what's the chance on a mud slap accuracy drop? It's pretty pretty high from what I remember. In structure of a locomotive, flame burns inside its body when it runs by using steam power. It's impressive you found this place. I expect more from challenge like you. For a question, heat up in a pot. Delicious. Hint is on the bookshelf close to the entrance here. Well, since there's only one bookshelf that I know about, which is this one, it's probably here. The funny thing is about that, it's like, yeah, you could go two, two it, it gives you a bunch of things about where to go, and yet there's only one trainer left. So I just instantly, I don't know about you as a kid, I always just went to this trainer. And you went, it's you, because you're the only one left. If it's not you, we're all, we're, we're all in big trouble. Get intimidated, boy. Right, uh... I still need to put work up on it. I haven't done it because I keep forgetting. Make sure I do it before the gym battle. There's those double flinches we all like. Get out of here, boy. Get on my level. That's three flinches in a row. We're doing good. That's four flinches in a row. <laughs> Sorry, Puffer, but you gotta go. Yeah. We're going into Pinwheel Forest anyway. To, uh... Ah. Oh. No more flinches.
Uh, I'll do it. I'll do it now. We'll heal up and then literally do it now. Because we've just got to switch this. And then we go against Lenora. Tepig. Oh, biology of Tepig. Huh. I know about the biology of Tepig. Because I saw his guts spilled open when he got bit for a crit and died. <sighs> the part rat one I'm not that bothered about. I like the little like detail they do on this when it hits, the books fall over. Right. Fossil of Armaldo though. That's one thing when you detail it when you when you add some uh and you can put some more detail onto these, you really do see the de I really, really do see the detail they put into it. Right, heal up, and then we get work up, and then we try and figure out if we can work out a strategy to beat uh, Lenora with a Herdia and a uh, Rogan Roller. And also, we need to not get our encounter in Pinwheel Forest on the outside. Because we can't get into the interior yet because of... Oh, I'm taking the turtle. Of course I'm taking the turtle. Do you take me for an idiot? There's a item here. I feel like there is. Yeah. Too bad it's one we can't use, but we'll use it for money. There's also a charcoal or mystic water or a thing here we can get from one of these houses. Something here is a super potion. It's all in the noggin. Th that lady there gives us Rock Smash, but I don't think we'll be using it. So I don't think any of my poke, uh, any of my the Pokemon we're using can use it. I might be surprised. This lady fight us. I can't remember. This one, that nurse is a is a battle, but you have to actually go up and talk to her. I believe she has a Muna. Uh, how close am I to leveling up? Right. Okay. I'm gonna fire some repels, aren't I, if I'm going into here? Just thought about that. No, oh, continue as you means to go on. Good stuff. I know the only problem with starting Rog and Roller against Herdia is I'm pretty sure. How many repels do I have? So I'm going to need a few. Two. I'll buy some more. Um, with. I don't know about Watchhog, but, Rog uh, but Herdia has Bite. Because it has. I believe it has Leah. I definitely remember it using Leah. I remember it using. It's either Tackle or Takedown. It definitely has Retaliate because that's the the move that they want. That that's the move they're pushing in this gym battle. What does it always start Retaliate? I don't think it always starts with Retaliate, but it does see how powerful the move is, and because for this early on in the game. Um, Retaliates a disgusting move to have this early on. It basically sees a kill with most Pokemon, so then it goes for it. That's why it always seems like it goes for Retaliate.
Yeah, we've got the money. And now we're penniless again. Oh yes, before I forget... What move are we thinking we should take off? Leah? It's kind of... yeah, Leah. And then Rock Smash. Can any of them learn it? Both of them can. That is an interesting thought. And the fact that it's TM now is all also brilliant. Uh, do I take off Tackle for it? Tackle's 50, but I have Headbutt, which is also which is better. So I think. We go for Rock Smash. You did call it to be first. Well done. That both of them can learn it. Will heard you do more damage with Rock Smash? Or will it do Like or will it be better if I go for takedown? I don't know. I don't really want to lose tackle as well. Because takedown's great. But it's not guaranteed, you know, it's it's an 85, so it's one of those of, do I take the gamble or do I not? If, if it's one thing you really need in a Nuzlocke, it's consistency. So like, tackle is, I mean, keeping takedowns really nice. But having the ability to use, having the ability to use, you know, having the ability to reliably get hit a move is probably better in the long haul. Okay, and we got these two children. I don't know what they have, which could be fun. There's a couple trainers here, there's there's two children, there's I believe a couple fighting dudes. Which obviously I really don't want to get into a fight with. Oh, Carney. Two more Pokemon I really don't want to get into a fight with. Uh, how are we looking? You can take it on. God, I love Leech Seed as a move. And here's the first thing of knowing if your Pokemon is actually under a status condition or not. It, 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 it highlights yellow. Right, give him. I'll pivot out into um, Desi, and Desi can absorb some of the uh, some of the words I'm going to try and say. Of course, because why would you use sleep powder? Oh, that's another good thing as well. Pokemon start to close their eyes in Gen 5. Right, go back in. Let's see if this thing has Leech Seed again. Well, yeah, it has power, but come on. Let's face it, sometimes we all forget that Pokemon are paralyzed or have certain other problems. See, now th this, is a, this is where I feel like Tackle's probably really going to help us. Because tackle's just reliable damage rather than, say, uh, takedown where it might miss and then we get into 
even with takedown, we get into more of a panic because obviously with takedown, we're taking recoil as well. Takedown's a really good move to have. Kane Jr., what have you got? Well, exactly. So, but, so you're doing like 50 damage or 50 base damage with tackle, but at least you know if you bypass the paralysis, you're hitting. When it, with takedown, you, you're basically adding another roll into the mix. And like I said, the best thing you can do in a Nuzlocke is consistency. Let's try out Rock Smash. Get smushed. Get defense dropped as well. Uh, I'll probably allow Gig. I'll probably be allowing Gigalith as a evolution, like I always do with the trade evolutions. As if we, as long as we, if we can, if we, only when we uh, get the actual ability to actually level it or to gain the uh, trade evolution. So say if it was a Kingdra, I'd have to get a Dragon Scale. But otherwise, you mean not Golem? Yeah, bit boring Golem. We still have our Repel on, correct? I'm being very careful that this doesn't happen again. We've made that mistake before. Yeah, there's this boy up here. I don't know what he has. I want to say he has Tim Poles. I can't remember. So I'm just going to swap into Cookie. And head on in. I'm brave and I'm bold. I'm Let's get right to the battle. Okay, Batman. Let's go. He does have temples. My knowledge holds for, holds true. Yeah, you go you go get your food. Right. Okay, and was it 400 and something we were on? So let's be careful that we don't overlevel here. Good start. 166, so that means that 2 is 320 summer. Okay, let's do some maths real quick. So that would leave us on 100, therefore if we split it again, we'll be okay. I think. Probably overthinking this. Please have a third Pokemon that's the exact same, so I can then judge. Cool. So 166 split is by on, is by two. It's not 97, it's less. So I'm gonna swap into Desi to te to leech some of that EXP. And then swap back in. That then that should be uh, 166 divided by 2, 50, 33, 83. So we'll be pushing it, but not too much. Uh, just give me a moment. There we go. And ta testament of truth. I should now be right up to the level curve. Good. Problem is now we can't use Herdia in battles. Fun. Um, right, so Glory, you start. A trainer up here. There's one there. Got something in my eye. Uh, 
Is there one there? No, there's an item there and we don't want to go into the dark grass. Although, I don't know what the dark grass actually holds. What's the level cap of the dark grass? I could risk it. All for a super potion. Never worth it. So, what's Rog... Well, how close is Rog and Roller? He's a ways away. Right. Well, here's hoping that this kid's not got fighting Pokemon. Because these two up here do. Special Pokemon you just caught. Is it an Ardino? Can I use it? It's Venipede. That works. That works very much so. Venipede's bad. Although I like the design of Venipede. Free EXP. Not that much though. Okay. Test, I guess this is for the Herdia. Oh, it'd be similar to what the Herdia will have. Beautiful. Okay, well, may as well go up here. I don't know what level these guys are at, so I'm gambling with Piddle, I guess. Hmm. And like Fingy said, I do. my team does have a startling weakness to fighting types. Trusting a level 13 bird. I'm pretty sure these guys have timber though and not sock and fro. Well, let's find out. Little did I know, they have Sock and Fro. No, it's Timber. Okay. Cool. Uh, level 16. Well, three levels above, though, that's an issue. It's awkward. Hmm. Especially with Focus Energy. Maybe I shouldn't have risked this. If I get out of this, I'm... Yep, Rock Fro, there it is. Crit for as well. That did little. Right, well, now we're gonna now we're gonna suffer. I thought I might be able to get out of it. Okay, he's gonna go for low kick, which will kill if I'm which I'm pretty sure will kill if we don't get. So good, I just need one more hit. Thank you. Then we'll go. We don't need to fight our last dude. Oof. That was dangerous and stupid and childish, and I will never do that again. Oh, oof. How close is Rog and Roller to leveling up? Hmm. Oh, I thought I got something out of it. Do I? Having just faced another one and knowing the actual, knowing the downfalls, what happens if I do go into it? I'm thinking about it. I'm not going to. I'm smarter. Will not risk it. Plus, I actually want to make this a run. Let's miss this dude out. Ooh, a netball. Right, let's repel up. Get a heal. I think we'll just go and do it. Why not? I don't think we get anything from Nacreen City that we really potentially need in this battle. Unless there's a, a scarf that I need to know about. 
Like maybe I can get a silk scarf or an expert bell or something useful. Right, so. so that's the dead box. So we keep everybody here instead. Uh, Pidov got us out of a bit of a bind there, bud, I guess. Oh well. Timber not using a fighting move got us out of a bind there, to be honest. The fact that he can't see the. the, the uh, he might not have been able to see the thing with low kick. Might have been a, a godsend. Uh, just heal up. Although we already did, didn't we? Because we got thingy. Um, what was it called? The uh, nurse that's there. I think that's everything, though. There's only one more hidden item I know about, which is here. Not in here, on the right, though. I don't know anything else we can get apart from that hidden item. Somewhere here. There we go. And now my knowledge is gone. I have no idea of any of any more hidden items. Uh, right. I'm still deciding. Do we go with? Do we go into the rock smash and get rid of takedown? Because I think takedown is useful if we need like a really big attack. I'm thinking. I'm also thinking, do we give Glory a Oran Berry or do we give it a Chesto Berry? Because Cookie's definitely a, a, an orange berry because it has vital spirit, so therefore we, it doesn't sleep. Um, it's just one of those, though. Do I start with Glory or do I start with Cookie and switch into Glory instantly to get that, like, get the. Intimidate boost off on the Herdia. On the Intimidate off the off the Herdia. Switch into Glory if it goes for a move straight away into like a takedown. And then work our way from there. I think that's probably the way to do it. Ah, well. If we die, we die. Screw it. Last battle of the day, boys. Last battle of the day. Let's make it count. Actually, there is a there is a better idea I have. Although I don't know how clever the AI is in Gen Five for switching. Hmm. Go back into glory. Now he's going to go for a normal move, if not a Leah. Because he needs to... The, the game will see it and really not like the fact that it's down on attack. Like, Leah, I'm almost certain he'll probably go for a Leah here, if not a bite. But Leah's probably the... Really? Takedown? I'm surprised about that. My turn. Hopefully I can get a dingy off as well while we're here. I Oh, damn it. I wanted to see if I could get the potion off Watch Hog. Here's what it is, though. It's okay. Okay, now Retaliate's obviously going to be the move here. I think you just got to stomach it.
Okay, didn't go for the retaliate though. Obviously, Crunch must have been more damage. And now we just slam in. It's looking, it's trying to not get hi hypnosis hypnotized. In there's the crit. We're switching out now. Don't think this thing has pursuit if it has crunch. So I think we'll be okay switching. And just for the added bump, I think we'll go for the takedown here, or do we go for the workup or and gamble? I think takedown here takes him out, but I'm not certain. Oh, I thought I had vital sleep. I thought I said it put put asleep. Did I misread vital sleep or uh, vital spirit? I thought I said couldn't be put to a couldn't be put asleep. Oh, I got changed from Intimidate, you idiot. Well, it's what I get for forgetting. And there's Retaliate. Yeah. Oh, and a crit just to boot. Right. <laughs> See what I mean? No, no one picked up on the fact that I said Vital Spirit. I had Vital Spirit and completely forgot that it evolves into and gets Intimidate. God damn it. See what I mean, though? It's that one thing I forgot about, and he instantly. And no one picked it up as well. No one picked it up. God damn it. I forgot that we had Intimidate in not Vital Spirit anymore. That's what threw me. I was like, oh yeah, we'll be okay. That's why I, I if I would have done it again, I would have used a Chesto Berry, and we wouldn't have had this issue. So just literally one overlook shows you the problem of what I missed. <laughs> oh, you idiot. Oh, well. That was a good first run, though, I think. We've shown off, like, a whole bunch of stuff that I'm going to do in the next run, next week. And we show we've shown a lot of the Pokemon that I want to use. Like, for instance, I want to use Herdia. I want to use Glory, uh, Rog and Roller, because it's going to be good against Alessa. Um... I mean, the Crypt... We got, I don't know if, we did retaliate, was that that important uh, for the crit though? If we, I mean, I want to use, do I really want to use Tranquil? I don't know. Uh, maybe if we lose Pignite again, probably, because of the, because of, like I've said, for Berg. And also it's a nice pivot in for Clay. Perline's meh, but we're just taking it so we don't have to really, oh, because Perline's a frequent encounter, so to get it off the, the encounter list is really nice. But yeah, hopefully we, You've learned a few things today, and hopefully in the second run we can get past Lenora. Hopefully with a full team, uh, no deaths, and we'll be okay. Because now I remember that we lost, we lost two Pokemon to we lost one to a crit, and second to a bide, and then three because I forgot the, and then the third one, technically to a crit, but also because I forgot the fact that Hypnosis is a move. Uh, also forgot the fact that we changed ability. So see, the finites of Pokemon. But for now, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. For people on Twitch, we're going to take a small break and then continue on with Resident Evil 2 Ghost Survivor or completing those missions. Um, for people on Rumble, BitChute, uh, YouTube, uh, this is all stream live on Twitch. If you ever want to watch live, you can do. There should be a link uh, down below in the description to every video uh, to uh, the Twitch channel as well as uh, any other platform you wish to watch me on. I'd like to thank you guys for watching one final time. And bye-bye.